parents had another pregnancy. And they all love each other again. They had a fight like this yesterday. And they're at it again. And I don't understand. I wish they would stop and and actually say I love you for once. It's okay, my right dear. You're always welcome this last time. You're meant to smart people after all. Thank you, Governess. That's the spirit. Then let's talk to our letters. You will need them when you grow older, my right dear. Please pay close attention to our letters. Such as always being polite and kind to other people we see you. Correct. That is one of the lessons you must always remember and look back upon, my dear. It shall serve you well as a member of Christmas. Also remember to watch your manners, among others, among other things. Yes, go for this. Good morning to you, Diana. Paul! I am so glad to see you. Tell me, is there any exciting news? Well, I came here to bring the news that your tea is ready. Shall I bring it to you? Yes, please. I am terrible in need of it. I have so much weight on my shoulders. Hey, Melissa got the card. Oh, pardon me, governess. I didn't mean you. I was just suddenly talking about my parents. And I would prefer to spend time with both here instead. You know, we can talk about facts with us that student. Just tell us what is wrong, Diana. Paul and I are here to listen. I feel like I feel like I was ever loved by my parents. Mom and dad are always shouting and fighting. Sometimes up to six times a day. I have never heard them say I love you to one another, or me. I feel like I was distant and wasn't welcomed by them. One time, mom called me a thick-headed one in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> it's so frustrating. That is true. Her parents have never been good victims. Have you tried to get their attention directly? Yes, they have. But they keep ignoring me. I, I tried to get their attention, but they just chose to ignore me together. I don't understand. Don't you worry, my dear. I'm here for you. Tell me what, why don't we go over this with some tea and crumpets? Church of here can come along as well. Thank you, Paul. That would be delightful. You're most welcome, my dear. These flowers are beautiful. If only some of the less fortunate can experience such a thing as this. I'm sure they will, my dear. But do remember that we have dinner with the rest of the family. The queen will be there. We must attend to that gathering with all due haste. But what about the children? What about them? I have charity missions to run. And this and these people are in need of it, Charles. You, you were my knight in shining armor. Ever since you took me away from the misery of my parents' house. And I have found the opportunity to help the common folk. Surely you understand? This is silly, Diana. We have more important matters to attend to. These little excursions, it can wait. But what of the people? They will have what is due. Now come, we haven't got a moment to spare. But Charles, aren't you in love with me? Don't you want to see me live up to the role of a princess and, and help the common man? Don't you love these people? Whatever love means.
wait here. My beloved, you have arrived. Come, let us celebrate this occasion with some fine wine. Of course. Let's go and... Wait. You are still trying to appease that woman? Alas, yes. She is my queen after all. And under pressure from my mother, I had no choice but to bury someone from the aristocracy. Diana, in that regard, is a perfectly acceptable bride. This is not welcome news, Charles. For all we know, that woman over there might take advantage of you. I am in need of an heir, Camilla. Diana is the only one who qualifies. I am your one true love. And yet you still chose to spend time with that girl over there? Huh? Utter nonsense, Charles. <laughs> I came all the way here just to see you again, Charles. I did all my tasks early for you. I even made preparation in advance just to be here on time. I would have expected that you broke up with the girl already. But no, you still pamper her like some damn lost dog and offer that brain that whimsy of yours. Look, you came here for a great time. Let's, how about we celebrate this with some fine wine? I have just the place for food and wine. Okay. I am sorry, Charles. I just don't like this spending time with her is all. I am your true sweetheart after all. Let's go, shall we? It is all right, my dear. Now come. I am sorry, the anger just overwhelmed my senses. It is okay. Oh, Dad, I'm great! Oh, Dad, it's good to see you again, my love. Oh, Dad, how was your day again? Well, it's terrible. Charles hasn't been very good with being in our relationship. In fact, he left because he went off to see his mistress. Mistress? Who are you referring to? Is it Camilla? Yes, James. I, I feel heartbroken. Who would have thought a man destined to become the next kid that would carry such malice as to cheat on his wife? Um, wait, I'm quite confused, Diana. Um, how exactly did you find out about this? You seem to know a lot. My partner and I so. I have my sources. You know, James, I feel I feel as though the world is working against me. And that's when I met you. And after a while, I started having an affair with one another. Perhaps, perhaps I'm no longer better than Charles. But you were a source of my comfort. Far more comfort than what I could get out of Charles. I see that, Diana. No need to worry much, my love. In fact, I am here for you. Oh, I have some coins. Would you like to have some beers before we end this little excursion of ours? You know, I certainly have a few pounds to spare. Hmm, my dear Charles, where's Diana? She's supposed to be here by now. I don't know, Mother. Her driver was supposed to get her here by now, and... And you had to meet up with Camilla again, haven't you? How, how did you know about that? I was so sure that no one would. Oh, there's no use hiding it from me, my child. I am your mother at all. I know what the first to be having with you. So you left her in the car. She was at your home? Yes, but I don't know why the driver is so late. She was supposed to get here by now, and she missed the best part of her little dinner. Hmm, perhaps if you does that on the staff. Perhaps you know something. Excuse me, Paul, but do you perhaps know the winner of the piano? She has Miss Tina and we're all very brave for her. Do you know something? Are you hiding it from us? Charles, this is 
no way to act for a prince. I'm sorry. Tell you the truth, sir. Yes, I know that we're about to play. Where is she? She's currently taking a night walk with an army officer. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was a man named James Hewitt. Why did you tell us just now? I'm sorry, but I was under an oath. I promise to keep it a secret. And as a princess, I am obligated to do so. Thank you, Paul. You can rest with me. My child, you are to be the next thing after me. I have expectations for you, and, and I need you to separate from the other. It is hard, but it is clear to me that this relationship cannot continue. I have seen how you treat her, Charles. I am sorry to say, but you too will never be a very good husband and wife. Please think about it, would you? I'll think about it, Mother. Hello, Diana. Is it you? Oh, Diana. I am very sorry, but I am needed you, and this career of mine is going to flourish. What? What about me? Aren't you going to come home? I will, but um, my deployment here will last years, and I'm about to launch myself into a full military career in Office Corporation. What? But that would take us apart. Please, James. Reconsider. I am very sorry, Diana, but I have waited my entire life for this very opportunity. So that's it then? Are you going to pick your career military over me? Wait, I didn't mean to say that. It's fine. Just please, if this is truly the end, I would like to take it as civil as possible. May I still contact you, my love? Yes, you may. But from now on, James, this relationship is off. I'm very sorry, Diana. No, it's fine. Just, just take care of yourself, James. Life could always be better, but with you, my dear, it's always the sweetest. Oh, we have always such a man of friends coming. You really know how to saw the streets of my doubts. Only the best for you, my princess. Now, do tell me, what has made you finally consider the chance of meeting with me? That you finally responded to my letters. You must understand how delighted I am. To find this grace for you much awaited presence. I'm afraid. I'm hearing on the end of my words, Kat. I didn't mean for this encounter to be just a mere distraction for the distraught I am facing. But there was no one else I could sincerely go to that would be as understanding and concerned about my own. Such as figures. I figured to give you a chance. What it may be like to spend some time with you. And maybe see where things go if this encounters of ours. We have a chance to move. To wait, my princess. I only aim and look out for the best of your interests. What is it about that you called me so urgent? 
I'm afraid I must break to you. The hearts of truth, princess. I can no longer hold my wit's end in this relationship of ours. The public is getting to me. I can slowly feel myself sleeping off in agony. But my love, please, this is all so sudden. Where has this all come from? I, I had thought that you, that you proclaimed your steadfast and committed perseverance to stay. I have thought the same, princess. But my mind boggles me at the recent events have been too much for my sanity to handle. I have a feeling if I could stubbornly choose to stay, I may snap and lose myself to my decisions that are poisonous and unsure. I wish to continue further my studies and career while eradicating any more distraction in my life. Are you truly decided for this, my love? Is there anything else I can do to change what has been set in store for me? I'm afraid this world ends like that. But I'm truly ungrateful for everything, for each moment's time spent with you. Unfortunately, our path must diverge from here and out. I can no longer see you, but I will always wish the best for you. Till the next time. Until the next time, yeah. Charles, you must be honest with me. I believe it is time that we divulge ourselves to the truth. Who is Lady Camilla? And what purpose does she serve in your life? I adhere to your confidence, Diana. Perhaps you are right and it is time. Camilla and I are simply what you feared has been going on behind your back. Do pray tell. How long have you been together for, Charles? The timeline is of no importance, Diana. What's more important in this confrontation is your final decision regarding us. What shall it be, Princess? I was hoping at this point that, that you could be completely honest with me and, and then tell me the question I asked myself of you. Are we really going to indulge ourselves to the wonders of our infidelity? I don't think either of us have been completely honest with one another, Diana. This has gone too far. And personally, I simply wish to come together to a complete understanding regarding this issue in the wars. So, this is it then, Charles. You are giving up on this, aren't you? I'm afraid so, then. What shall it be? I think we both feel that this is for the best. I just wish you the best from here and out, Charles. May you live the life that you ever so dream of accomplishing. As do you, Princess Diana. between you and Diana. I am very proud of you, my son. We're so delighted to finally accept it, which is a kid. Have you heard about Diana and Buddy Fire? <laughs> Apparently, the word says she has gotten together with them a few months ago. There is a lot more than what meets the eye, Mother. And it seems we're not the only ones who's keeping secrets. And even then, she does not even seem to be trying to bury them in the dark. And that is specifically why I have been advising you from before to separate from that lady. Her name is already token for allegiance and strength to persevere, but all in all, it was also her credibility that is continuously being tarnished to them. Something we really need to let ourselves feel. As long as we are fine and happy, Mother. 
I shall check on Camilla. She has been requesting about my presence to know about what has taken place today. As you are, my dear. For how long we have seen each other, Diana? Can you enlighten me with your current situation with Prince Charles? Well, that is something that occurred just recently, Dodi. Uh, I would prefer to converse with you about it some other time, if it is possible. If that is what you wish, Diana, I would not mind. Not at all. So, how are you doing on your end, Dodi? Has life been treating you well? As you see, just as sincere as it can be, life can always be better. But it is up to us to move Destiny's hand and not settle for what fate has set in stone. How I wish I can agree with your sentiment, though. I have allowed fate to settle and let the waves carry me towards wherever it wants to bring me. Don't fret, Princess. We'll ensure your situation will not stop. Look out! This is CNN Breaking News. I'm Jean Meserve in Washington. In Paris, France tonight, a tragedy. Britain's Princess Diana has been in an automobile accident. She has been injured. Diana, Princess of Wales, has been seriously injured in a car accident in Paris. Her companion, the Harrods heir, Dodi Al-Fayed, has been killed. This is BBC One. We've interrupted our programmes for a news report. We now go over to Martin Lewis in the news studio. We interrupt this film to tell you we are getting reports that Diana, Princess of Wales, has been badly injured in a car crash in France. We are getting one report from a news agency uh, that the princess is suffering from concussion. And we now join Martin Lewis in the news studio. This is BBC television from London. Diana, Princess of Wales, has died after a car crash in Paris. The French government announced her death just before five o'clock this morning. Buckingham Palace confirmed the news shortly afterwards. Normal programs have been suspended while we bring you the latest developments throughout the morning. God, what has happened? 